you a single lady and you have been praying that your man proposes to you in fact you have been giving him signs and he has not been able to read them come i have the recipe for you guys when you are done preparing this pepper soup for your man he will come running with the ring I was served this food at an event and I was like, let's, let's have, have it. it. Let's, have it. <laughs> let's have it. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so I feel like the stage we are in right now, I, I, I should address the people as family members because what is this support that I'm getting? Guys, we have clocked over 300 followers. I know that very soon we will add Kate to the back. 300k followers but right now i am so grateful for this little community and i know that it's gonna grow meanwhile i was teaching you how to get your man to fall on his knees and propose to you because of this guys i would need all of your attention okay so now let's go into the business for the day once you have added your seasoning to your goat meat you cover it up and let it simmer take note guys do not add any water it would naturally just release its own juice and let it boil on that. This is for us to incorporate the seasoning into the, the goat meat. You cover that up and let it boil. All of the seasonings I use will be put on the description box, so please don't forget to check it out. Once our goat meat is done, you add in as much water as you desire because this is pepper soup a lot of people like it very watery not everybody like a lot of water but this is to your desired taste then you go in with your pepper soup spice so guys i tried to use natural one but it wasn't working out so please if you don't like stress like me just use this already made then i went in with extra pepper for heat because what is pepper soup without pepper i don't know so that's it you just cover that up and you let it boil however at the end of this video i will be putting up some pictures of natural spices that you can use to cook your pepper soup so after that i added irish potato so to be honest guys this is what will give you that continental taste pepper soup but make it foreign so once that is done, you cover the top and let it boil for 5 minutes so our Irish potato can cook. After 5 minutes and our Irish potato is ready, you then go in with the star ingredient which is the scent leaf. Once you go in with the scent leaf, at this point, you don't have to overcook your vegetables. Just cover it up and let it simmer on low heat for one minute. And once that is done, your pepper soup is ready. Hey, let's come with me. Let's serve your man. <laughs> I hope at this point you're picking colors for your ashwabi because I do not want to hear, oh, it happens suddenly. Where you are not perfect suddenly. Because when it gets it, taste of this everything will start happening sharp sharp ah sharp sharp so guys please you people should invite me for your wedding when it's time so i can come and have a taste of this pepper soup at your wedding or even make this pepper soup and share for your guests what do you think so guys i really enjoyed putting this video together and this came out very good it tasted even better than the one i had during my conference ah i love you so much thank you for always supporting me and god bless you don't forget to like subscribe and even share my video where necessary i love the small community that we're creating and i do not take your love for granted thank you so much if you made it to this point mm, please in the comment section just drop the color of your attribute bye guys